Welcome, hello, my name is Jessica. I'm a third year student on Bachelor of Science Accounting and Finance at Richmond American University in London. Hey, my name is Tahsin Ozan. I'm pro Program Director for BAC Accounting and Finance degree. We've created this short video to give you some real insight to this degree program. We hope you enjoy it. At the end, we will include some information details so that you can get in touch with any questions you may have. What is this course really about? Uh, well, uh, our accounting degree gives uh, a lot of technical skills and knowledge about accounting and prepares students for various accounting positions like tax preparation or auditing, financial planning or corporate tax uh, accounting uh, roles as well. Not only that, it can prepare you for senior management roles as well. And employers would like to see quantitative skills from the graduates uh, when they are employing, especially for graduate jobs. And um, in our program, we have that. Uh, we have a lot of accounting and finance courses. But apart from this, we have three math courses, for example. They need to study, students need to study. And also two economics uh, courses as well. They need to study during uh, their uh, studies with us. So this will provide a lot of uh, technical knowledge and these technical skills are desired by employers because when they are uh, taking their graduate um, uh, tests for the graduate jobs, usually they are assessed with the quantitative skills. I think these uh, accounting, finance, economics and maths courses, they prepare for those quantitative tests. Uh, but uh, our accounting program offers more than just technical skills because we are an American university, liberal art university, and uh, we offer some additional courses and, and we offer uh, basically more uh, skills. Um, at the moment, uh, workplace, yes, we need to have vertical uh, thinking, analytical thinking uh, that is desired by many jobs, but also uh, employers, they are looking for lateral uh, thinking as well. So we have some liberal art courses you have to take when you are studying accounting uh, program and uh, things like tools for change visual thinking, narratives of change, digital collaboration and so on. These are different type of courses and you, you study alongside your accounting and finance courses. And we are hoping the students can uh, improve their lateral thinking as well because sometimes we have complex pro uh, problems at work and we need to have a very creative, innovative uh, view so if we can look at, if our students, our accounting students can have different perspectives, uh, they, they can uh, think more laterally, and then they can find maybe more creative, more innovative solutions. So I think uh, these liberal art courses adding value to accounting program. That makes sense. Mm. Let's dive a bit deeper into what you will study. What are some of the courses? Uh, uh, for example, uh, I can give you some, um, for example, uh, one of the area in accounting is financial accounting. Uh, so we have three courses in financial accounting. Uh, first course is financial accounting and we provide the basics like double entry bookkeeping, recording transactions, preparing financial statements, income statement, balance sheet, statement of cash flows. Uh, these are the basics. We create the foundations. Uh, we, we can understand uh, the key terminology, assets, liabilities, income, equity, and so on. Uh, we provide uh, that uh, foundation with the financial accounting. But then uh, we have uh, additional courses in financial accounting, advanced financial accounting, and financial reporting. Uh, with these uh, courses, we go into more complex accounting topics like consolidation, and then uh, we focus on application of financial reporting standards and so on. Mm -hmm. And our students uh, develop really good technical uh, financial accounting skills with these three courses. And then also uh, managerial accounting is uh, another area of accounting, another branch. 
And there we have a managerial accounting, for example, this is the first course. And we teach them costing, budgeting, um, uh, the performance analysis, the capital investment appraisals and so on. We teach the basics and then uh, we have advanced managerial accounting. You get more complex questions and then financial management as well. So if uh, students would like to become an accountant, they can be, but they don't have to. They can also go into uh, financial management and they can become uh, finance managers or they can work as a line manager. They still need to do budgeting. They need to uh, evaluate performance of their employees and so on. Uh, those are the areas they can focus on. Of course, we have taxation, auditing as well. Mm. They can focus on those areas too. Mm. I can see that there are, there are some elective courses for this degree, like wealth management. How do they work and when do I pick them? Uh, well, uh, there are some compulsory courses. For example, I can give you e for year three, we have advanced managerial accounting, advanced financial accounting, fundamental analysis, corporate finance, principles of investment, legal and ethical concepts in mm. management, and research methods. So these are the compulsory uh, courses uh, all the students they need to take. But then uh, they have, for example, uh, they need to take one elective course and uh, this could be digital collaboration or leadership in a changing world, environment and society, or global citizenship and migration. So those uh, four courses I mentioned, they can actually choose one of them. So that whichever they would like to, if they have interest in leadership, maybe they can choose the leadership course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How are the classes assessed? Uh, we have various uh, assessment methods, uh, for example, we use uh, quizzes, we use midterm exam, we use presentation, we use coursework, and we have also uh, final exams as well. Well, uh, depending on, on course, for example, for managerial accounting, we have four quizzes, one midterm exam and one final exam. Uh, some of the accounting courses in other places, they may have one final exam, but in our university, you have uh, assessment throughout the course, so mm -hmm. fourth time quizzes. It means you need to have a quiz maybe week three, week five, it, week nine, week ele 11 or something like that. Mm -hmm. and then you have a midterm exam in week seven, and then final exam usually week 14. So uh, Yes, you have assessment throughout the course. Uh, I think this improves the engagement level. Uh, if students needed to take just one exam at the end, maybe mm. they're not going to do much and then they're going to wait. And, uh, but in our uh, courses, uh, that's not the case. Uh, mm. At least uh, two, three assessment uh, takes place mm. throughout the course. Yeah. Can we discuss internships? As for when would you take it and do you recommend students to do these? I think internship is crucial if uh, students would like to do internship I think they should do it. Uh, maybe recognize that and uh, we have a person uh, help students to find internship positions. <coughs> because for accounting I think uh, this is really important because uh, if you look at the employers, they want to see some kind of work experience. Maybe uh, this could be actual job experience or a volunteer job or internship as well. Mm. That's why we value internship, especially for accounting students because you can practice with the accounting software, you can get hands-on experience and, and so on. I think this is really good and we encourage students to apply for internship and if they achieve that I think it's really helpful for students. And what kind of organizations have students done their internships with or if they have outlined their own internships? Well uh, I'm not 100% sure uh, internship positions but uh, before I came here uh, I check uh, the LinkedIn profiles of our graduate students mm -hmm. because I was expecting you may ask uh, something yeah. about mm -hmm. it. And uh, I, I saw our graduates, uh, for example, the roles, graduate roles included uh, the titles 
finance coordinator, financial analyst, head of finance and accounting, fixed income analyst, uh, finance intern, finance assistant, financial controller, and internal control uh, analyst. Uh, these are the these were the roles these, um, uh, they mentioned on their profile. So mainly, I think financial jobs, financial analyst jobs, or the, that mm. kind of jobs, they apply and they get uh, that kind of jobs. But also, I, I was checking one of our student. Uh, she chose to study master's degree. And at the moment, she's studying uh, MSc in finance at UCL. All right. Mm. Mm. So that has to do with what students have gone to do after graduating in this program as well, then? Yes. Yes. Mm. And what are some of the existing accreditations by organisations? Uh, well, we have accreditation from ACCA uh, and also from SEMA. Mm -hmm. uh, if students they are interested in financial accounting, so let's say if they want to become an accountant and like financial controller, and they want to prepare financial statements, uh, and uh, they can actually go for ACCA. So once they finish their studies, they can apply for exemptions and they can study ACCA qualification and they can become chartered accountants, so mm. they can become auditor and, and so on. Students uh, who are interested in managerial accounting jobs or financial management jobs, they may apply for CMA qualification, CMA qualification focusing on managerial accounting. Mm. In, in managerial accounting, uh, this, is, um, this is not like uh, preparing financial statements, this is about uh, maybe you are a manager and you have responsibility of budget budgeting, mm. uh, performance appraisals, and you can uh, get gather data, analyze data, and you can make business decisions. So mm. business decisions can be related to costing. Uh, for example, uh, you are considering a new product, and we need to establish the cost and. Uh, how you would establish that cost uh, with regards to that product. So managerial accounting will teach you that. Mm -hmm. And also how we can make pricing decisions and uh, budgeting, cost volume, profit analysis. So these uh, tools will help you to make business decisions. Yeah. And uh, hopefully you will improve the business performance. So mm -hmm. if you want to get that kind of jobs, uh, managerial accounting or financial management uh, jobs, I think you may apply for CMA exemptions then. Mm -hmm. And how large are normally the classes when lecturing? Uh, I think this is one of the unique selling point of uh, our university yeah. uh, because uh, for level 4 courses we have rarely more than 20 students in the class. Uh, for level 5 and level 6 we have 10 students usually, there are 10 students in the class. With small class sizes, um, actually we, uh, we have more interaction with the students. Uh, we understand our students better and uh, lecturers, they can actually produce their teaching and learning materials according to the needs of students. Uh, this is our advantage because our class size is small um, and we can help students more, I would say. Uh, compared to maybe some other universities, they may have three, four hundred students and it's going to be difficult to know all the students. If you are giving lectures to three hundred students, it's not the same. But uh, in our university, uh, most of our classes is less than 20 students in a mm. class. We actually, I know all the students by name. I know their weaknesses, uh, strengths and I consider when I'm preparing my materials, I consider that and it helps students. Mm. What do you like about our program? I love the fact that I get to develop a strong numerical skill along with an advanced analytical and problem solving capability. However, I also think that this degree gives me the opportunity to go into any industry which I would li really enjoy doing. Great. So you're happy if yes. you recommend us? Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like some more information, please contact us here.